What? Well, are you seeing anyone these days? Don't be ridiculous. What? Mom, that's not a crazy question. When have I ever been seeing someone? Well, I don't know. You don't tell me anything either. I'm sure there are plenty of men who'd like to... Don't be crass. Well, I'm just asking a question. No, you're acting like a child. I just told you everything. What happened to being able to have these conversations? I'm your mother. Exactly. So, you know how long has it been? You know perfectly well how long it's been, and I don't care to discuss it. The pillowcase might not match the sheets. Oh, my God. It was upset, but things just disappear around oh here. Oh, my God. Into thin air. Oh, my God. I just killed cases, Sarah, for a while. No, you haven't. Not since Dad. I said we're not discussing it. I mean, I just assumed. Oh, I don't know what I assumed. I mean, you don't really think about these things, not about your own mother, but. I, I'm not joking. No, I know you haven't been in a relationship, but you've been on those cruises. Sarah! What? I thought that's what people your age did on cruises. Stop it! I mean, you and Dad have been divorced for what? Over 20 years? I am warning you. <gasps> oh my God. Is Dad the only man you've ever been with? I said, cut it out. I'm your mother. And if you're going to stay with me under my roof, you will do what I say. Oh, come on. I'm not 16. That's right. You're not. You're 38 years old, Tara, and it's not my fault that your husband wouldn't sleep with you, so I don't know why you're taking it out on me. Oh, for the love of, what do you want? I want to give you some money. Well, just leave it on the table. Whose car is that? Sarah's. She here? Yes. Just put the check on the table, Earl. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Earl. How you doing, young lady? Been better. Not going up here, regular old hen party. Earl, could you just? I took my boots off, lady. Relax. Hey, you. How's the turkey business? Oh, fine. Yeah. You folks eating yet? No, not yet. Oh, still a bit early, eh? Hoping to get some canola in next week. Uh huh. He's all the time the ground it can get. Yeah. Especially now we've got all those bans on anything that might harm your mother's little friends. I can hear you. Good. When my red check bounces, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> is it going to bounce, Earl? Well, yields are as bad as last year, so just mine. And that's my fault, is it? Well, yours and Beekeepers Association and all them environmental cases in Ottawa. Well, you can thank us all when the entire ecosystem doesn't collapse before your very eyes. Whoa. When you don't starve to death because all the bees died and there was nothing left to pollinate the food supply. Oh, it's the end of the world. You hear that, Sarah? The bees are dropping dead. And me and my canola and soybean are to blame. We're all just a few more years away from starving in the desert and getting swallowed up by the sea. I'm not funny. I didn't say it was. You folks going to the dance tonight? No.